Forecasters have found a new word to describe the potential impact of Hurricane Sandy on the East Coast. They're calling it Frankenstorm. Sandy is pounding the Bahamas this morning, and by next week, it could bring hurricane force winds, strong rain, record high tides, and heavy snow to the northeastern U.S. David Bernard, chief meteorologist for our Miami station, CBS4, is watching Sandy again this morning. So, David, what is the latest with the storm? Well, let's put it pretty plain and simple, Nora. What we're looking at this morning is a Category 1 hurricane uh, in the Bahamas. It is a little bit weaker than it was at this time yesterday. A maximum sustained winds 80 miles per hour. It's slowed down a little bit. It's moving to the northwest at 13. Now, we think that the storm is going to leave the Bahamas tonight, and it's going to parallel the east coast for the next 24 to 48 hours. So by Sunday night, early Monday morning, it'll be roughly east of the Outer Banks of North Carolina. And then that infamous turn to the west is expected to occur sometime on Monday or Monday night. And an approach to the coastline like that, whether you're talking to Chesapeake Bay or a little further north toward Long Island coming in from the east, that's not a very good direction. It's a very unusual one. And one of the reasons for it is that we have this big roadblock in the central Atlantic. It's a big blocking high and that's going to force the storm westward and then it's going to get caught up in this cold air and that's why uh, we're talking about there could be some factors with this storm that you might not normally see as a hurricane makes landfall and that could be in the form of some uh, winter type activity. Uh, David, what is the range and the level of the impact we may see? Well, this is going to be a very large storm, Charlie, and already the wind field is growing with it this morning, and we expect that to continue to expand over the next 24 to 48 hours. So when it makes that turn to the west back toward the coast, and we don't know exactly where that's going to be, but near and just to the north of that, that's probably where the most severe coastal flooding could be. And really anywhere from the Cape all the way into southern New England is going to be a risk for that. Storm force winds for a large part of the northeast and the mid-Atlantic. And then we'll see power outages as well. And there's a possibility of very heavy inland snows, especially I think in that western Pennsylvania, some of the higher terrain there into West Virginia, northern Virginia, maybe even the mountains of uh, western Maryland could see heavy snows as a result of the tropical moisture coming in and the winter cold wrapping in behind it. David Bernard, thank you so much.